guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup release video, the series where I give you all my brutally honest opinions on all the new releases in makeup. So if you want to hear what I think, just go ahead and keep watching. So first of all, step aside ColourPop. You don't get to go first this week. Kaleidos revealed their collection for spring 2021. This is the Flower Punk collection. Let me just start by saying Kaleidos has very quickly become one of my favorite brands. I'm currently wearing the Lunar Lavender palette. I love everything I have tried from them. Their shimmers are easily some of, if not the most beautiful shimmers I have in my collection. So this collection will have an eyeshadow palette, two sets of lip clay, a blue agave lip mask, and more. So the palette kind of looks like a bunch of melt palettes came together and had a baby. The layout is completely new for them. It looks like the lid to the palette is actually magnetic so you can take it completely off and then you can put it back in different formations. I don't know how necessary that was, but it's a nice touch. It's different from the layouts of their current palettes. Um, the swatches look beautiful. Love the grungy greens mixed with the bright springy teal colors. This is really pretty. They don't have a lot of pictures of everything else that's in the collection. I don't know what lip clays are. I believe that's also something new for them. I don't know, but I am a thousand percent intrigued by all of this. The palette looks really unique, definitely different to anything I have in my collection. Um, there are only three shimmers, which is a little bit sad for me because their shimmers are impeccable. So I would have loved to see a few more shimmers. I'm definitely more of a shimmer girl than a matte girl, but... The palette still looks beautiful. The color story is completely unique to anything that I have. So this will be um, available for pre-order on April 28th and they will begin shipping out on May 5th. It doesn't have a price here. I do like this. It's definitely different. Definitely spring. Kind of like a grungy spring. I like it a lot. Um, There is a high probability I might be picking this up. I feel like Kaleidos has just become a brand that I want everything they make. I want everything. Definitely really excited about that. I wanted to jump into that first for sure. So now we can get into our union mandated weekly ColourPop release. Um, they have revealed five new five pan eyeshadow palettes. So there are five monochromatic palettes. There's a green one, a red one, a purple one, a pink one, and a blue one. Um, these are their new eyeshadow palette layouts. I believe they started with the Valentine's Day collection. These are kind of cute. Um, I did pick one of these up. I placed an order from ColourPop. I wanted to grab the brow wax and the mascara. So I figured, let me just grab a bunch of things they have recently released so I can try them out. I got the color sticks, the four pan palette, uh, and one of these five pan palettes, mascara, the brow wax. So I'm gonna have a bunch of new ColourPop things coming to a video soon, but I decided to pick up the blue one, rumor has it, because they've done this before. They're monochromatic palettes. They've got their whole collection of the nine pans. They've got a green one. They've got two purple ones. They've got two green ones, two purple ones, a bunch of pink ones, red ones. I don't, I don't think this was really necessary. I mean, at this point, I think they're duping themselves. Um, Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun did a really in-depth collection swatch comparison video. I will link that down below, but she did compare the five pans to the monochromatic palettes, the nine pan ones. Some of them are pretty similar. You don't need another monochromatic purple, green, blue palette. I picked up the blue one because I don't have the Blue Moon palette. I don't really have a lot of blue eyeshadow in general, so I did want to try one out. I figured the blue one was the most unique to my collection because I don't have a lot of blue eyeshadow. I don't wear a lot of blue eyeshadow, but 
I did want to try these out, the new five pans. I haven't tried it yet. So, um, the packaging looks really pretty. As always, ColourPop packaging is always really nice. There are two shimmers and three mattes, I believe, in every single one of these. There are no pressed glitters. Um, they're all right. I think, honestly, this was kind of unnecessary. They could have come out with the five pans, but in more curated color stories. Not just more monochromatic palettes. Like, at this point, you're not really putting thought into the release. It's just throw five purples, five greens, five blues into a palette. I don't know. So these are obviously already available. So next, Ofra released a new highlighter shade in honor of Earth Day, which is really nice. So this is the Mother Earth highlighter. Um, it's a neon green to pink shift. Uh, these are limited edition. They will be $35. This looks really cool. I love that they went with something for Earth Day. Not a lot of brands come out with an Earth Day product, but this was really pretty. Ofra's highlighter formulas are A1, they're beautiful, they're glowy. I think Amy Loves Makeup actually reviewed this one already. So this is limited edition, so I don't know if it is still available, but you can't really tell in the swatch picture if it's that neon green to pink shift, or if it's just the lighting, but it does look cool. I don't really wear crazy colored highlighters. I'm not gonna wear a pink or green highlighter to work on a Wednesday. But it does look really cool in the swatches, so if you like a more unique, shifty kind of highlighter and not your typical pink gold champagne highlighter, this one looks cool and I do love that it's in honor of Earth Day. So next let's talk about uh, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. She has revealed the new Prep and Set collection. Prep, bake, brighten, and set your way to a flawless complexion. So it appears this collection is going to have an under eye primer, a bake and brighten under eye powder, a face it all brightening and setting palette, and a translucent setting powder. Um, priced between $24 and $39. This will be available May 6th. Um... I don't know. I think the packaging is pretty. I know a lot of complaints with her face powders were the raised J on the packaging made it really hard to store the products. These palettes do look thinner than the ones she just released because I know a lot of people were saying they were like hefty. Like those first palettes were solid. So these definitely look thinner. These are in white packaging. The other one I think was black and gold. These are white and silver. Packaging looks pretty. Um, I know she did say she had a lot of things up her sleeve when she got put in Ulta stores. Everybody's like, you don't have any products to show. How are you in a store? But she is kind of releasing things back to back. So it appears that she's got a lot of stuff saved up. Um, I'm not into baking. I don't bake, I just use a very basic setting powder, whatever I have, I'm not too particular about it. The collection's not for me, I'm not team like, cancel Jaclyn Hill, she did us all dirty, she doesn't deserve another chance, but I'm not running out to get her products either. I'm gonna say if anybody knows how to bake and set and prep your base, she's probably up there with the people that know how to do it well. So I don't know, this this looks okay. I'm not overly impressed. There are three different uh, shades in the palette for a light, a medium, and a deeper skin tone. I don't know. Each palette has four shades, uh, silky soft pressed powder sets and perfects, four versatile brightening shades in each palette. I mean, the shades don't look horrible. The deep one looks very orange, very orange. I don't know if that's made for Oompa Loompas, but hopefully that's just a weird picture because that deep palette looks like Cheetos. So I won't be picking any of these up. I am kind of interested in her bronzer blush and highlighters, but these, not for me. I'm not crazy about 
base and primers and powders and set and bake and proof and put it in the oven and that's not really for me. So these will be available May 6th. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills has also released face palettes, but these are uh, bronzer, blush, and highlighter palettes. The packaging on these looks really cute. Anastasia has kind of fallen off a bit lately. The packaging is pretty, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say the bronzer in the deep palette barely looks deep enough for the model they swatched it on. Not to mention the blush is way deeper than the bronzer and the highlighter is far too icy. I don't know. I don't think they nailed the deep one at all whatsoever. <sighs> These will be available May 3rd on their website and May 6th in other retailers in case you were interested. Is anybody really all that interested in Anastasia Beverly Hills these days? Besame Cosmetics has collaborated with Marilyn Monroe for the Vintage Iconic Collection. This is really pretty. The packaging on all of these products is beautiful. It has her signature on it. The black, the gold, the rhinestones. This is really pretty. This is more of like a collector's piece if you're a huge fan of Marilyn Monroe. This is something you buy and just keep on display. So there's gonna be a refillable metal compact with a silver screen setting powder, a girl's best friend mascara, coral lipstick, red lipstick, hot red lipstick, lip liners, eyeliner pencils, gloss, gloss, highlighter, shadow quad, lashes, sharpener. There's a lot in this collection. Um, the entire collection is $245 and you can buy the pieces separately or all together in one PR box. This is really pretty, really well done. I've never tried Besame Cosmetics. The eyeshadow palette is just for matte shades. It's pretty basic neutral palette, but I guess they were going for Marilyn Monroe's aesthetic, so it does seem fitting. Again, the packaging on all of this is really, really pretty, really well done. And these are already available in case you were interested. House Labs has revealed new lip oil stains. Is House Labs even still a brand? Did they have any hits? Did anything from House Labs take off? Because I have not heard a single person talking about any product they tried from her. This is Lady Gaga's brand, by the way. Um, I don't get it. There are lip oils, three pinks and two clears. revolutionary and these are $24 each for a lip oil oh god it's one of those that changes colors brought out by your own unique pH basically they all turn pink yeah it's a bunch of shades that are just gonna turn pink on your lips this is so underwhelming I'm sorry I'm sorry. This is just boring as all hell. I'm not a Lady Gaga fan, but this whole brand seems like it has nothing to do with her. I don't get it. Uh, these will be available April 27th. I don't know who cares, but uh, Trixie Cosmetics has revealed their new collection, the Bottle Blonde Collection. There will be an eyeshadow palette, lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss. Okay. Um, accessory pack, handheld mirror, scrunchie set, crew neck shirt. Okay, there's a lot. Um, this is cute. It's very pink and purple. Girly, cutesy aesthetic. I like it. Packaging wise, it seems to fit the brand. So this collection is already available. I won't be picking any of this up, but it is really cute. It fits the brand. I like the aesthetic of everything. So jumping back to some more indie makeup, uh, Menagerie Cosmetics has revealed their collaboration with Annette's Makeup Corner. This is the Serenity Eyeshadow Palette. 
I did see them sneak peek this and they finally revealed the inside. This is really pretty. The packaging is pretty. The colors are pretty. The swatches look really, really nice. The shimmers look incredible. This looks really pretty. I'm actually getting um, Natasha Denona, the big top Cirque du Soleil palette, carnival, clown, circle, loco, that thing. It has a similar vibe to it. The palette is only $38.95, so if you did want a similar feeling to the Natasha Denona palette without the $130 price tag, this might be a good, not dupe, but similar vibing kind of palette. I like this. This is pretty. It's a very bright, colorful. It's got the same shimmery oranges, the light kind of pastel purpley color. So a huge congratulations to Annette's Makeup Corner for her collaboration and... These will be launching on May 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's a pretty slow week. I guess I'm just gonna finish off with this new release that just came up a few minutes ago. Urban Decay has a new addition to the All Nighter family. This is the All Nighter Lightweight Loose Setting Powder. Um, lightweight vegan face powder, translucent matte finish, uh, $33. I've never tried any of the All Nighter products. I'm not gonna be picking this up. I'm not too particular about face powders. I just set my face with whatever I have. It's not a huge deal to me. So that was it for this week's new makeup releases. It's a pretty slow week, but we got a new collection from Kaleido, so what more could I ask for? <laughs> so yeah, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed what you saw here, I would encourage you to like and subscribe, and please consider coming back for some more content. Bye.